guys, in this video we're going to be working through an exam style question. Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at an exam style question based on reversible reactions. The question tells us that the harbour process is used to make ammonia and it then gives us an expression for what happens in the reaction, which is that one diatomic molecule of nitrogen reacts with three diatomic molecules of hydrogen in order to produce two molecules of ammonia. And you can see from the double arrow that this reaction is reversible. Nitrogen and hydrogen can react together to produce ammonia, but ammonia can also break down in order to produce nitrogen and hydrogen. In the first part of the question, we're asked to explain what is meant by a dynamic equilibrium. A dynamic equilibrium can be set up by a reversible reaction that's taking place in a closed system. When a reaction is at dynamic equilibrium, the rate of the forward reaction is exactly equal to the rate of the backward reaction. What this means is that you see no observable change in the concentrations of the reactants and products. As at the same rate, the reactants are broken down to form the products, the products are broken down to form the reactants. So this is the sort of thing that you need to say in order to get the two marks for this question. We are then told that we see energy is released during the harbour process. And this question asks us, what kind of reaction is this if energy is released? If we're characterising a reaction based on whether energy is taken in or released during the process, we're talking about whether the reaction is exothermic or endothermic. Hi guys! To continue watching this video and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific GCC chemistry and combined science videos, just click on the Snap Revive smiley face. Join me today and together let's make chemistry at GCSE a walk in the park.